Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech, where I explore technology weekly. And today I'm taking a look at Google Keep on your phone. I want to give you nine tips to get more out of Google Keep on your mobile device. So let's get started on these nine tips. Before we get going on these tips, make sure you have Google Keep installed on your phone. Uh, you can do this through, if you're on an Android, through the Play Store, or if you're on, Air, on your Apple device, just go to the Apple App Store, download it for free, but you will need to make sure you have a Google account. I'm gonna go ahead and open my Google Keep up here. You can see I already have different things in this. And I'm gonna start with my first tip is about collaboration. So you can see up the top right, uh, I have a note about uh, grocery list, buy eggs, milk, ice cream. Now it's really handy if you're in a family working, uh, if you wanna make sure that everybody, if you get the right things, that you, cr you could create a uh, checklist and then you could share it with somebody else and they can check things off when they pick something up to see what you need to get. I've also used this with students before with a uh, list in class. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a collaborator to this and you can see I click in the bottom right hand corner, pick collaborator and I'm just gonna add one of my other accounts to this one here and right here, and they all need a Gmail account for this too. I'm gonna to hit save, and I'm gonna go, and you'll see that you, I'll get the icon added at the bottom to show how many people are collaborating on that note. So I just have a different account. If I go back, you can still see it here. So I, that's one of the things I like to do with different notes is the collaboration. Next tip is reminders. So I'm gonna use the same thing. I'm gonna go back up to it, and that little finger beside the pin, I'm gonna click on it, and it's obvious that there's a time reminder there, but the one I like better is the place reminder. Because if I have this grocery list, maybe it's at a certain spot, I wanna be reminded to get this. Uh, I'm gonna uh, click on this, I'm gonna add a location, and I'm just gonna pick a city close to me. And I'm gonna say Calgary, and I'm just gonna go back, uh, select it and hit save. So now you can see that Calgary is on it. So when I get there, my phone will know that I'm there through GPS and it will give me a reminder there saying, hey, I should get these things. So the there's the time or the place reminder on this. I'm gonna go back and the next one I wanna show you is take advantage of the dictate tool. So at the bottom right hand corner, you can see there's the camera. I'm gonna go and click on the mic beside it. So I'm gonna click on it. Now I'm going to start I'm going to start talking about something and I'm just going to stop there. And you can see it recorded my voice. I also have the recording to it that's five seconds long. I could hit the little play button and it will play back what I said. I could add a title to it very quickly. Uh, if I go back, you can see it's already um, already on this. And remember, this goes across all my devices. If I open Google Keep on another, it will be there right away too. Grabbing image from a text. Now this is a handy little feature. I'm gonna take another note. I have this little sticky note beside me. I'm just gonna, on my screen, and I'm gonna take a photo of it. Make sure it's in focus here. So you can see it says, this is a test. I'm just gonna hit the check mark on this. Again, I could add titles and different things on this, but I'm not gonna right now. I'm gonna click on the picture. It will change a little bit. See those th three little dots at the top of the right hand corner? I'm just gonna click on it and I'm gonna select grab image text. It'll take a second or so, image text grab. If I scroll down, you can see this is a test. So through the OCR, it grabbed right off that little note where I wrote that and now I have it in, uh, in a test are written uh, in words on it. So the next one, what I really like uh, to do is uh, the doodle tool. So if you wanna take some quick notes, quick notes, just simply click the pen beside it. And remember, if you wanna draw something, any of these different, uh, even, any of these different ones, you can choose the, uh, you can add to notes too. So I'm just gonna do this quickly. I'm gonna go back and you'll see it as one of my notes. So the doodle tool, tool if you wanna do some quick uh, doodles and then add it uh, to your notes, maybe you like to take little uh, notes that way, just simply use the pen tool that, that pops up beside the uh, mic one. You can also use this as a bookmark, uh, bookmark tool. So I'm just gonna go over to a website that I already have open in Chrome and it, this one is just about, um, let's see when it loads up here, the latest Fitbit. So if I go to the top right hand corner now, 
click on it, hit share. You can see it, I have a few different options. I'm going to use Google Keep. I'm going to hit save on this one. You can see I have a choice of uh, my uh, thumbnails if I want to do too. So I could say put, put this in my bookmarks and hit there and hit save. So now I can view it in my Google Keep. So I could be searching just under my bookmark labels and I'll find it right away when I do any searches for this. Uh, with all these different things, now I just showed you a bookmark uh, where we go or through the labels. A quick way, if you're on any note, uh, what you can do, and let's say for example, uh, I'll go to, I'm just gonna use an example here. If I wanted to quickly add a label to anything, and I only got a couple labels here to show, but if this was, for example, a bookmark one, as soon as I put in a hashtag, it will give me my bookmarks list. So if I wanna quickly add a bookmark from there, so if this was a bookmark, I can just drop down, and now when I go back, you'll see that this one has the tag on it, so this makes things really searchable when you uh, use your tag. So this is one of the uh, powerful things I like about this, how easily you can sort out everything on this one. Uh, exporting to Docs, so you can use Google Docs, you can export everything to this. So if I go, uh, I'm just gonna uh, select one of these, and you can use images and everything. I'll use uh, this one, I'm gonna, uh, now I'm gonna start talking the one I just did I'm going to hold down on this one you can see it's selected when I hold down on it the three little dots at the top right hand corner uh, you could and I click on that now I have copy to docs so if I want to push any of these notes over to copy to docs I can click on it and it's going to copy to docs and it will open I can open it up in Google Docs. So remember any of these things you can go over to your computer after and this will be all part of your Gmail account They've just added Google Keep and Google Slides connected, so you can actually grab things in Google Slides from, your, from all the stuff too, that any pictures you've taken right to Google Slides. Lastly, what I wanna show you is just the archive tool. Make sure if you, you can get a lot of notes sometimes and you might wanna just archive uh, just to clear things up and you can click on it and the archive is just the top right hand corner and it's archived, it's not deleted. So I can go back to it, if I go to my archive, you can see I just archived this one, just simply click on it and click the top right hand corner and it will unarchive it. So if I go back to my notes, you'll see it that is there now. So those are 10 tips that uh, I find really handy if you're using your mobile dev device that can just kind of just kind of speed things up. Hope you like these today. If you have, hit that like button. I do these weekly tech tips. Uh, so hit that subscribe and remember I hit that no notification bell beside it too so you get notified when my videos come out. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you next time.